So it's a bit of a different setting here today. We're not doing a movie review, but we're actually talking about something else. And I'm gonna keep this real quick, short and brief. Recently, I got a new iPhone 16 Pro and I wanted to test out the camera and the microphone feature on here. It's actually really useful considering I like making film and we wanted to put this to the test. So I partnered up with some actors, Dinesh Arnold and Jake Walder, and we decided to create a real quick, short little film on the spot, no prep, nothing whatsoever. We pretty much just winged it, honestly. We just pulled out the phone, sat on the beach, and I pretty much said, just create something, guys. And here is what we created. We created this little short film to do with men's mental health. So without further ado, I want you guys to watch it. Without further ado, here it is. Check it out. No script, just on the spot. Legit took us 10 minutes to do. Let's do it. What's up, dude? How we going? Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, man? Come on, man. Oh, why'd you, why'd you call me out of here so late? Hmm? Why'd you call me out of here so late? What's going on, man? Um, Scarlet is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's actually like the orange and the red. It's actually yeah. really nice. Like, it just sort of yeah. reminds me of, um... You seen Apocalypse Now? The movie? I have the smell of neat pool. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, dude. It's like a Vietnam, I'll put that Vietnam on my bucket list. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Vietnam War movie. It just like, it just reminds me of that. Yeah. Very, you know, very cool. This is the poetic nature of orange in the uh, clouds. And over here you've got some yellow. You know, it's quite nice, dude. It's nice. Do you want a cigarette? Oh, no, that should be all right, man. You know, I don't really smoke a lot, but... Oh. Yeah, it's up to you, man. No, you can have one. Not... Yeah. You can have a smoke if you want one. Oh, no, so I, I don't want that. Are you sure? Yeah. You are... Doing alright, man. Um... Not really. What's going on? <clears throat> Stacy left me. And I, um... Just got let off. Let off at work two days ago. And, um, it's sort of been harming myself lately. Like, Dude, that's. It's not good to hear at all. Um. Actually, that's really fucking sad, man. Because you're my best mate. I have been for like my whole entire life, and I feel like I don't know what I'd do without you, man. If this is the path you're going down, honestly, man, I love you to fucking bits. All the time, we were, all the times we went to the fucking footy, you know, and you're screaming at that guy, and you're like, "You fucking idiot!" <laughs> he was a fucking idiot. Wasn't yeah, he? he was. But dude, I just don't know, man. I can't stop feeling like it's just not going to end. Man, I know things are hard, and you know, sometimes things don't go your way, man. They never do, but there's always more to live for, man. Always more than that one relationship or that one girl or that one job, you know? And, and one day, one day you're going to feel happy again. Just got to let time do its thing, man. Yeah. 